Aristotle believed if he had a long enough lever, he could move the entire world. So what we're going to do is see how long of a lever we would need to have in order to balance the world on a lever and fulcrum structure like this. We'll assume that Earth's gravity applies everywhere, and we'll also assume that we have a massless and indestructible lever. What I'm first going to do is use a mechanics balancing equation. I can use this formula by taking the mass of the Earth and multiplying it by the radius of Earth, assuming that is Earth's distance to the fulcrum point, and then dividing that result by the mass of the 100 kilogram person. From here, I can take this distance and add it to the radius of Earth, and that will give me the length of the entire lever. After crunching all of these numbers, I calculated that a lever would need to be 3.776 times 10 to the 29 meters long. So we need an absolutely gigantic lever. In fact, if you're wondering just how long this lever is, if you built a bridge between the Earth and Saturn, you could travel back and forth across this bridge 100 quadrillion times before you've traveled the distance of this lever. So chances are we won't be moving the Earth anytime soon. 